Hello everyone, Anz here. So this video today we are playing more Minecraft Bedrock Edition on the PlayStation 4. Now before I get into this, I just want to say I'm playing on keyboard and mouse at the moment because I'm trying to get better at it. But anyway, away from that, let's get into it. So this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a seed for Minecraft 1.14.0 which shows, which comes up with loads of bees and villages everywhere. Bee villages, in other words. Now. This seed has been shown by a few of YouTubers before. Obviously, IVX Toy Cat being one of the first people to cover it. So we're going to be testing that. See, let's say, so just name this world B. Then go down the bottom. I'm not sure if he was joking about this or not, but if I go to seed down b below, he does state that is I. Then how many bees is it? I, I need need to get rid of those capitals, don't I? It's five Bs, one, two, three, four, five, then X, so I, B, X, and then I do that, enter, oh, it's seed picker. Is a seed picker is there? I didn't even know that was a thing. But anyway, we discovered that. So that's a seed, I believe it is. Let me just double check. Um, one, two, three, four, five, yep, I, B, X, and yeah, I believe now it's in infinite, obviously. If I create that, it's called B, so if I create that, basically what this world should have, it should have B is absolutely everywhere. Now, obviously, to be able to find the B, you need to have found some with loads of flowers in, and obviously, there needs to be a hive there. Obviously, I'm not sure how hard it is to find bees, as they've only just been added to a PlayStation Minecraft edition, and I know absolutely nothing about them, because it is fairly new. So. As you see here, we just spawned into the world. I do believe this is exactly the same world. Um, so if you just fly around quickly, just see if you can spot any bees around here. Um, there should be bees somewhere. Let's, let's follow, follow around, see if we can, we can find any bees around. So here's a village over here. If I'm correct, there's an abandoned village somewhere in this map as well. So there, here you are. This is the abandoned village. So if he goes here, you got all the sort of stuff in the village as you would normally expect. I mean, there's mobs down here, in here apparently. Don't know where they are. But anyway, ah, there you are. There's bees in the abandoned village. So this is one of the things which they did state was in here. And these bees apparently, they should have a hive somewhere. So here you are. Here's their hive. So I'm not sure how hard it is exactly in survival mode to find their hive, but. This is a hive. It could be in a tree up high or just down below on the floor. But I do believe the bees do fly pretty low in the first place. So I don't think they're just going to sting me because I'm in survival world. No survival, creative. So as you can see here, if you want to load into world with a one in, I don't know how many chances for a um, abandoned village, which is very rare to find, I believe, to find these sort of villages. Then put in that seed I B X with five E's, and you should find it. Now, here's another one. So, what's so special about this map? Basically, these are everywhere. These beehives are absolutely everywhere. Now, obviously, I didn't find many over there, but to have an abandoned village and a seed with loads and loads and loads of bees in it is actually quite a good good start to a game. If you want to, maybe start a survival world off this. Um, map if you were uh, thinking about starting a channel or something like that so i think this would be good for a starter who just wants to put it in. i'm not sure if c is to save all your achievements though now i do believe another thing which i learned recently is you can get bees to follow you if you find a certain flower so let's look around here for somewhere it's a tulip i believe it was you need to find it's a yellow flower which is it, well it's a yellow it's a yellow flower and in all and once you've got one of these, you can go up to the bee, and it should be able to, there you are, you've seen more bees over here, they are everywhere in this map, so, it's a yellow flower, I'm not sure if this is one over here, is it? Is this the one we're looking for? Oh, no, didn't come, I, don't, I, want, I want that flower, no thanks, I don't want that, I would like that flower. Who wants to give me the flower? Oh, but anyway, let's, let's, let's see if we can find the flower, I'm not sure why it's, exactly, it's not, it's not, not giving me the flower. I don't know why I'm trying to find a flower exactly. So as you can see over here, over here, especially in places where there are flowers, you will see a is that a two-headed pig? No, it isn't. So over in places where there are loads of flowers, you'll see bees absolutely everywhere. So you can see here there's a beehive here. Well, they're coming towards me. Bees go away. Then you can see flowers. 
these are one of the key things to find a huge bee swarm which you don't really want to be that close to. are they following me oh there you are so i think it's any flower that you have and they will follow you so let's see what flower this is so it's white tulip any sort of tulip they will follow you so are they following me now no you see they found a flower already so there you are they'll start following me now i think yeah there you are they'll start following me so i'm not sure it may just be tulips and bees go after but you know if you want to lead some bees to your um, base or something like that so you just pick pick a tulip and off you go you're off to a good start and they will start following you until they come across a flower which they really like so they will ditch you that so yeah that's my short review on this world so you can see there's another beehive there there's probably beehives everywhere over there but remember guys if you ever look for bees in particular look for somewhere like this with loads of flowers everywhere because you are most likely to find bees hovering around buzzing around and then you can even attract them back to your base so yeah that's all i really got to say for this video there is also another bunch of villages around here there's obviously a huge um pillager house and an, oh, there's also over here i saw this one in that video too a village which is really spawned on top of a hill and if I'm correct there's beehives near here too there's beehives everywhere that's that that's the aim of this whole map so you see these really, really place villages if you want a unique map with loads of bees and stuff you get honey from join this map because it's really good and you get obviously you get the abandoned village which is really rare so yeah, I'll put, leave the seed down below and you guys can join it you can play the seed for yourself and see what it's like so you know you get really play, weirdly placed um, villages as you see here we've got one on top, top of some sort of floating island um, let me just try and get out of here I can break that can't I yeah I can so here we are you get one floating there I think he's too afraid to jump down isn't he here he is then you get this huge village I'm not sure if they've updated much about these villages recently but I do believe there is another village somewhere else around here which ah, there you are there's no one over here. I knew there wasn't someone somewhere. So it's just villages absolutely everywhere. And there's bees everywhere. So if you want someone where there's no abundance of villages, then join this world. So if you just drop down here quickly, you see we've got another is this another abandoned village? Yes, it's another abandoned village. And there's multiple of these, I believe. Am I might just spawn in the same place as before? No. I'm in a different place. So as you can see here, I believe this is another abandoned village. Yes, it is. It is. So yeah, there's two abandoned villages in this seed. So if you want more abandoned villages, join this seed. And you can see, you get a zombie villagers. Obviously, that's the reason it's abandoned because they've all turned into zombies. And you get, you still get the farm and stuff which you can farm from it. So if you guys are interested in joining this server, server, it's not a server at all. Um, this seed, I leave the. Um, name the seed down below and just input it how I input it before so hopefully you guys can enjoy playing this was he already dead this server so here we are here's another bunch of bees over here yeah there's, there's one bee you might just power down into the ravine is he there might just be one bee so yeah there we go I swear it's just double headed animals in this game what's up with these things look at them just glitching into each other. You need to disappear, my friends. Aha! No, this is the village we just stabbed, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Um, so, yeah, as far as I'm aware, that's all this um, map really has to offer. There's also another village somewhere around here which is partly built into a river, which is very unique for. So, yeah, so let's try and get this bee again. So, yeah, here you are. So, white tulips will definitely make the bee follow you. I'm not sure if you can tame them or anything. As I'm looking at it right now, it don't look like I can. So, I'm not going to bother trying to tie find ways to tame them at the moment but if i do find a way to tame bees in the future i'll do a video about it so yeah anyway guys it says the end of this video i um, just want to thank you guys for all the support i've been getting on the live streams recently because it's been quite a lot and we've gone up loads of subscribers too we're almost at 800 and also we got that big 1k mark coming up as far as we actually fall actually and yeah just remember guys stay cool subscribe and we'll see you guys next time good bye